Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I have a, a video I want to share with you from Tony Lamb. And um, I have to be careful how I say this. It's still um, Thursday, March the 4th. It's 4.41 p.m. And let me let him talk for a minute and I'll be back. Oh, it's called, It's Just a Little Sin, Just a Little One. And then every day, in every prayer, repent of sin. Satan knows that just a little sin is all it takes. Why do you think he is sneaking sin into our foods and in our, in our drinks to trip you up with just a little sin? Remember, God is a God of rules and laws. My people perish, perish for lack of wisdom. And no, I am not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I am only human, and I have my faults and I have my weaknesses. But every time I stumble, every time, I know where to go to get right with God. I get on my knees, I humble myself before God, and I beg forgiveness of my sins. I am washed clean by the blood of Jesus. And you can be too. Avoid at all costs changing your DNA. Avoid foods that contain HEK-293. To be sure, say the blessing over your foods and your drinks. And then to make extra sure in your prayers daily, repent of sin. As okay, I'm going to stop it there. Does anybody remember what HEK-293 is? I will try to find the video that I did, or at least the source of it, and link it in the description box. It's been several months. It's human embryonic kidney tissue. The 293rd try is what I read when I was, uh, I believe when I was researching the source. Going back and reading up on it, how they knew this. Was it true? And so forth. Okay. Many people don't want to take the um, certain vaccines, and there are many. They've been in our certain vaccines for years. Okay? And down in the description box, he's got under show more um, wait a second wasn't it here I saw it I just saw it it was a list of vaccines that had it in it had embryonic tissue so now I'm wondering, is the newest one on the market really the abomination of desolation because of that reason, or is it because it changes your DNA? The point is, this came up today after I prayed last night see it's the third I, yesterday was the third I got paid on the third and I was about to place a grocery order but for some reason I always end up in emails and I try to knock off a few emails before I go do what I got on to do and then I end up forgetting what I got on to do <laughs> anyway I had prayed Lord I'm having I'm having a problem here. Everything that was in my diet before I cut out because it had natural flavors. If you, anything you're eating says natural flavors. Okay, sometimes it'll say natural and artificial flavors. But everybody's wanting to get out of the artificial realm and buy all natural or organic, if possible. 
So now companies are making their products with natural flavors. And guess where the natural part comes from? You guessed it. What Tony's talking about here. The HEK 293. If you saw my video on that, and someone just commented on it recently. Um, oh, who was it that did the video that I did a video for because of him and his research? I can't remember his name. I'm looking at his face. He's got a big, like a, like a, a, a presentation board with all these different companies. It's like a turquoise blue board and it's got PepsiCo and which by the way uh, since they were called out like 10 years ago they quit using it because their sales dropped. People do care about just eating that. Now I don't know how they were labeling their product at the time but some food makers are apparently pretty proud of it. I'll try to find what it was I was just reading. Where was I just reading that? It had to be something under here. But the point is, all right, do we really want to just blatantly eat? Go ahead and buy it. Okay, like here's some more examples. Besides drinks, flavored drinks, um, chips. I will only buy if I want chips, which is rare. I don't let myself buy them because they're salty. But if I do want some, I'll get a smaller bag of Lay's regular potato chips. The old-fashioned original that has potatoes, oil, and salt. No natural flavors. But you go into the barbecued, the onions and French onion dip flavored and cheddar cheese flavor, all the flavors. You will read on the bag natural flavors. Okay, so do you think they really take cheddar cheese, melt it down, and dip each chip in it? Or roll the baggage, the batch of chips through it no they don't that is an artificially produced cheese product flavored in part by HEK 293 now they will say in their defense I remember learning this well they're cloned we take some and then we clone them a million times or whatever a bunch of times so what you're getting in your product is just a clone. It's not the real thing. Okay. Does that make it okay? Well, you know, that's what I was praying about. Is Does that make it okay? Because I've had to cut so much out that I'm eating their food and now I'm gaining weight and I cannot gain another pound. So I have to figure out how to eat without any anything with natural flavors. Like my yogurt. I'm buying plain yogurt and stirring in preserves or jam that does add calories, but I'm not getting the natural flavors. And then when I put my trail mix in, there's nothing in there with natural flavors. It's seeds and uh, raisins, M&M's, and it's like M&M's, wannabes, <laughs> and uh, peanuts. So the, all that is safe. That helps give me fiber. And then the probiotics and all that helps me work. Okay, so, but I'm lazy sometimes. I mean, I get so tired. I just wish I could just grab my little container and rip it open and throw in the seeds and be stirring it on the way back to my chair and I don't want to deal with other 
And it's one more step. Seriously. That's how tired I can be when I want to eat. Sometimes I just don't eat. I don't know how I don't. Well, it's, and they don't cook with a lot of salt. I think it's carbs. Anyway, the point is, is it just a little sin? Eating cloned fetal tissue? When you think about it like that, it's disgusting, is it not? I've decided I'm not, I'm not going back to the way I ate. And that means I have to eliminate my protein bars, which, duh, I forgot. I totally forgot. They have natural flavors, too. So, if you want to be diligent about your diet, what you're eating, and don't want to eat that, start reading labels. Okay? And I will link Tony's video so you can hear the rest of it. And I'm going to try to find um, the original video that I used to make my video. Okay? I um, can't remember the guy. Jerry. Uh, no, that's this guy. Uh, no, Jerry. Yeah, this is Tony Lamb. His name was Jerry Tony. Jerry Jerry Tony. I think that's right. Okay, well, anyway, I'll let you go. And I'll talk to you later. All right, you pray about this and see what God would have you to do if it takes, if you have to. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.